Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy for bringing you guys my personal review of Pink Rush, finally. Um, all openness of, like, out there, I did purchase this with my own money. I am not in any way, shape, or form affiliated with Pierre Sultan's company or her perfume company. They didn't send this to me. I did purchase this on my own. Um, and I've been just trying to get information to be able to bring this review to you because I did purchase it off eBay when literally, like, there, you can't even Google this. If you Google it, you'll find the eBay listing that I purchased this from. So, like, super, super hard to find. I'm sure with quarantine and everything else going on right now, um, with COVID and all that stuff, that it has delayed the launch on this. I don't know when it's supposed to launch. I assume soon, probably. Um, just, but keep an eye out. If I find anything out, check out my Instagram. Um, follow me there. I'm on the search perfume if you aren't already. Um, and I'll do my best when I find out that this is actually available to show you guys. So, the box looks like this this time. The thing I will be first annoyed with is this ad. I hate that this is on the box. Um, all the other pink rush box, or all the other rush boxes have been, um, like it's been a slipcase. So, it bothers me that this isn't a slipcase. Also, the box has been, shaped has been changed. Um... I know that there are some Gold Rush bottles or boxes that look like this, but it is like flattened on the sides now, um, and then the ad does kind of carry over to the side here. Um, it is an Eau de Parfum, 3.4 ounce, 100 milliliters. Um, it's like an iridescent pink. It's definitely a different pink from the pink of Rosé Rush, but the bottle looks like this. Um, removed the glitter, went back to kind of the Gold Rush uh, glitterless bottle. Uh, very, very pretty in person. I, when I first saw a picture of this, I thought it was going to be like this guy right here. I thought it was going to be like Electrify. Um, and it's not. Like, obviously in person there are two different bottles. This is very iridescent and kind of has a color shift to it. Very reminiscent in my mind of Paris's car that she just did. It's just, I love the bottle. Like, it's, I, in person, I love this. Um, not the biggest fan of the pink chrome. I think that's just a little odd. I mean, if we would have done, like, a pink chrome here, that would have been fine. But the I think that's just a little weird, personally. But whatever. Um, this is different from all the other um, Rush fragrances and all of other Paris's fragrances as well. This um, is probably the most similar to, like, the original, like, Paris fragrance and, like, Eris. Because it has that kind of, like, crisp cleanness that that originally has. But it's completely different. So... Notes of this fragrance are, top notes are Italian bergamot, Asian pear, fresh quince, and goji berries. Heart notes are pink peony, delicate osmanthus, turquoise rouge, and coral hibiscus. Base notes are warm amber, cashmere woods, soft tonka, and silk musk. What's this smell like? To me, it is Paris Hilton's version of Daisy. It is very, very, very similar to Daisy, but it's also a little bit warmer than Daisy is. Luna's down there. If you guys have seen my Beyonce video, she was back there, but she's right there because she feels the need to follow me at all times. Um, but anyway, excuse me, this is Paris' version of Marc Jacobs' Daisy. It does have a little bit more warmth, does have a little kind of sweetness to it, but it is a very crisp, clean, uh, springy floral, very springy. Um, smells like walking through a field in the spring with, like, you can smell flowers blooming, you can smell like the clean air. It's very light, very fresh. That being said, it lasts a very long time. Um, I'm very, very impressed with the lasting power of this, especially for how lot like how light it is or how like off like how light it comes off, I should say. It does last a really long time and does have a really good projection. Um, I get about like eight hours out of this sometimes. Um I've gotten, it's about six to eight, just to kind of depend. It's really, 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 really nice. I will say that if you like Marc Jacobs' Daisy, you'll definitely like this, but it's a little bit different. Um, and I definitely think it's worth the blind buy if you can find it. If I do, like, once it does launch, I can show you guys, like, where you can get it or whatever. Um, I'm not even sure where it's going to launch. I literally know nothing. Um... I'll post it, because definitely this is a really, really, really nice fragrance. Definitely a standout in Paris's line. It's... the All the notes blend very well. Like, when you first spray it, when you first get that initial opening, you do get kind of, like, that little bit more crispness from the pear. Like, 
I definitely couldn't tell if it was pear or apple because it kind of gives that to it in the beginning. But mixed with those, like the goji berries and kind of the other things that are in the top, it definitely kind of makes it kind of apple-y. But more like red apple than green apple. This is... But very, like, it's floral. Um, very floral, very light floral, very springy. I so said that previously. Like, it is just Mark Jacobs Daisy, but done by Paris Hilton. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I love when other, like, other fragrances are done. One of my favorites is uh, Spring Rain. This is an amazing fragrance. This is another interpretation of Marc Jacobs' Daisy, but done very differently. The same way with this. If you smelled Spring Rain and you smelled Daisy, you'll know how they're similar, you'll know how they remind you of each other, but it's still a different fragrance. It's still completely different. So, same with this guy. Um, there you guys go. There is my review of Paris Hilton's Pink Rush. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, guys, follow me on Twitter, ABS Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.